Hi Leo, welcome to your 2021 year forecast. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we're going to take, at the, take a look at the coming year and see what's coming in for you. So I'm going to do month by month. So I'm going to pull you some oracle messages to start and then we'll get into the tarot and take a look at each individual month and see what may be coming in for you in the coming year. So welcome Leo, welcome, welcome. So this may or may not resonate for everyone. So if it does resonate for you, there will be an extended reading. And I will tell you all about the extended reading. Sorry, my candle just went out. I will tell you all about the extended reading at the end of this reading. So if you hold out till the end, I'll tell you all about that. And there are also timestamps down below if you'd like to get right to the reading. So I'm going to get your oracle messages here at Leo. Welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is intended for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any Leo heav uh, heavy placements in your chart. Cross watchers are welcome also for Leo. So let's get you. We've got the Romance Angels. We have Moonology. And we have the Butterfly Oracle. So let's get some opening messages here for Leo. I'm going to pu pull your oracles first. And then we'll get into the tarot and see what may be coming in for you in 2021. So we could get one big, long, cohesive message, or we could get little indiv individual uh, mini messages. So we'll see what comes out here for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Jupiter, <laughs> male or female, genre collective reading, only taking what resonates, I guess, you probably wouldn't know if it's going to resonate or not, but if you feel like it does or it doesn't, please only take it if it does. And I'll mention the signs as I see them. So there could be other signs in your chart, or it could be um, energies around you, or just the overall energy, so keep that in mind also. And everything you need to know about me and this channel is down below in the description box and the pinned top comment. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For Leo. Leo, Leo. Let's see what's going on for Leo the Lion. For 2020. Oh, it's too many. For 2021. What's the most important message here from the Butterfly Oracle? For Leos, oh my goodness, <laughs> for 2021, just one, one card please, thank you, thank you, for giving me clumps, I just want one, oh my goodness Leo, I think you're going to have some big major changes coming, alright, let's do in 2021, oh, what's that, okay, we're going to take this one. I didn't see it, so I don't know what it is. So, all right, let's see what your oracle messages are. Romance angels, trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. So there may be a new connection coming in for you where you're going to have to trust the situation or it's calling you to have trust. Maybe you lost trust or faith in love in general, whatever the energy is here for you. But this is telling you is to have faith, hope, and optimism and trust in a situation, or it could be uh, re-establishing trust. So we'll see. So let's see what your moonology is. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So you could have Sagittarius in your chart. It could be something around the Sagittarius season. Um, I think by the time this comes out, we're already into Capricorn, but maybe something happening here by the end of the next year. But there's something here and it may not be relating to love, but there may be something that you really need to take a closer look at. It could be anything. So as we get into the tarot, we'll see if that plays into any of the messages. All right. So let's see what your butterfly oracle is. Grief work. So there's been some sadness. There may be some sadness, loss, hurt, um, energy. And it's going to, you know, this is telling you to feel all your emotions. Don't bury them down. Don't hide them. Don't ignore them. So if there's something that happens in the coming year, um, which causes you a lot of sadness, grief, emotional hurt, um, you're really going to need to work through that energy and feel it and deal with it. 
so that you can heal from it because if you just push it down it's always going to be there and it's always going to haunt you so and it could be something happening in the coming year or maybe something you didn't fully heal from from the past that may be resurfacing and it may be something here with looking at the bigger picture, you know, maybe you get more details. Maybe you look at something more in depth from the past so that you can do the grief work that was associated to that. So, and maybe by doing this, it'll put your faith, love, and trust back into love again, Leo. You are number five, Leo, which is all about challenges and changes. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what's coming in for Leo in 2021. One card for each month, and then we'll do the bottom of the deck as your overall energy. So let's see here for Leo. Let's do one card for every month, January through December. So January, we have the Magician. So trying to make things happen here. That's uh, Gemini energy. February, the world. Wow, so two majors right off the bat here. And then we have the Queen of Swords for March. We have the Empress for May, uh, April. April. <laughs> Gotta get my month straight. Let's do May. We have the Six of Cups, something's returning. June. We have the Eight of Cups that you may walk away from. Okay, July, July, so it's your birthday, to those who have birthdays in July, July, Judgment, August, 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 Five of Wands, hmm. okay, September, September for Leo, September for Leo. Ace of Pentacles, nice. October, October. The Five of Pentacles. Hmm. November, November, November. The Ten of Cups. In December, we have the Ace of Cups. Nice. See what's the bottom on the bottom of the deck here. We have the Six of Wands. Success and victory coming in for you for 2021, Leo. And to clarify that, we have Death. And we have the King of Pentacles energy. So we have Scorpio there. We have Virgo here. King or Queen, doesn't matter. It's just any energy. But the Six of Wands here is saying that Success and victory can be yours for 2021. <clears throat> Death here, so Scorpio. So you may have to end something for the success and victory to come in. So it could be anything, something no longer serving you, or transforming yourself, or transforming in a new way to bring in new opportunities here, to bring in trust. King of Pentacles. So again, this could be someone coming in your energy or it could be you. King or Queen doesn't matter. King of Pentacles, someone's very grounded, secure, stable, makes their money. They're very smart, practical, and analytical, wise. Um, and they take their time. They don't rush. They're very uh, loyal. So could, again, could be someone coming into you or your energy for the coming year. So by healing and transforming or ending things no longer serving you, and transforming into this king of, or queen of pentacles of energy. That's kind of like the minor of the empress. And we have the empress um, right here for uh, May. We'll bring in the success and victory for you, um, Leo. So for January, we have the magician. So this is manifesting. So in January, you may be trying new things. You may be trying to manifest new things in your life. Uh, it could be anything, projects, ideas, something creative, maybe a person, a new job, a new way of being, uh, being healthier, just manifesting new, 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 new in your life in January, maybe New Year's resolutions. And then for February, we do have the world energy. So this could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So we're closing out cycles that are no longer serving us and we're starting new cycles here. And that's that magician energy. 
So what I'm feeling since the world came out after the magician is don't get ahead of your game. I mean, if you need to close out cycles first before starting in new a new direction, make sure you completely do that because you may not completely close out a cycle before you start a new one. And that may not go in your favor. So just keep that in mind. Something could involve, you know, February, you could be traveling. There could be distance, maybe going on a vacation and traveling um, here. Could also be involved or maybe something on the web, doing something online, maybe, you know, networking or different things like that or communicating online in the month of February. Then in March, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is Libra energy. This is the um, kind of like the minor of the Justice card. So in March, uh, you may be feeling like you've been through a lot. So whatever you're closing out here, you know, maybe, you know, you're not fully closing something out first before you start something new. So this Queen of Swords is becoming very um, clear, decisive, direct, realizing, oops, maybe I made a little boo-boo here. I should have completely closed something out first before starting something new. Sometimes this Queen of Swords energy feels like she's been through a lot. This is a divorcee. Some of you may be single, divorced, recently divorced. Maybe, you know, in 2020 you became single um, or a widow. Sometimes it's that kind of energy. Sometimes they've been through a lot of trials and tribulations in their life also. So that could be this grief work where that comes in where, um, you know, maybe you need to take a bigger, a bigger picture, a bigger look at your maybe past um, energies, you know, life review, relationships review, and doing that healing energy work and the grief work so that you can um, put your trust and value back in love and those types of energies also. And that could also be counseling. That could be a counselor, advisor, um, someone giving you advice also, or you reaching out for advice also. So for May, I keep having to go January, February, March, April. Okay, we're in April. <laughs> oh, I might have to write the months down so I know. <laughs> so now we have May. No, April. Oh my gosh, Mary, get it together. April, yeah. April. So we have the Empress. So this is uh, knowing your value and your worth, Libra Taurus energy. So knowing your value, your worth, you know, reestablishing re yourself, connecting with yourself, um, feeling, again, stable and grounded, ready for new things in your life, ready to birth new things in your life. Because I feel like here in the beginning of the year, you're, you're trying something new or going in a new direction without closing out an old cycle first. Like you're... The world should come before the magician. The world is the last major arcana, and then, well, then you get the fool and then the magician. So you're kind of like ahead of, like, you've gone too far ahead, and now, you know, the Queen of Swords, you may realize, okay, I need to go back and, you know, do it the right way or fix something here. But the Empress is, you know, you are ready for new, that is for sure. But, you know, being in your um, high regard, value, morals, just energy, and uh, standing your ground for what you want for um, April. So for May, we have uh, Six of Cups. So there could be someone returning here uh, from the past or something or someone returning from the past. You could be going back and um, reconnecting with an old childhood dream in some way. Um, and wanting to, maybe this is this new energy coming in for you, maybe wanting to try something you've always wanted to do, um, maybe moving back home, and maybe we do have the world there, could involve moving back home, or returning back to something from your childhood, or something returning back to you, could be a person, place, or thing coming in here for um, May, and then for June, we have the Eight of Cups, so this is about walking away from things no longer serving you. So you may actually go try to return to something from the past or something returns back to you. But then be coming June, you may actually decide to walk away from that idea or walk away from that energy or decide to stay in that energy for good. I mean, however, that resonates for you, I guess, here. But the Eight of Cups is usually walking away from things no longer serving. But you always do have the energy to return back. So you may be actually um, walking away from whatever this is that may be returning or you may be returning to 
or it could be regarding something else. So for July, which could be some of your birthday months here, we do have judgment. So this is going to, you know, something is going to need your uh, final judgment call here, making a final decision about something here. Um, again, judgment here is about, again, life re review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, moving on, letting go, or returning to something, or a resurrection of something, but it's something meant to be, something you're made to take a bigger look at. So that's kind of coming out uh, right into the Queen of Swords, kind of what I felt. Um, so, and that could, again, be the grief work, you know, healing, forgiving, you know, resurrection, or letting go, and making final decision and judgment call here. Something uh, something could, you know, maybe some of you need a past life reading or regression work because sometimes judgment it can be about past lives also. And then for August, so those who have a birthday in August, we have the Five of Wands. So I do see this big, like, it looks almost like a trophy or a chalice here. So you may be conflicted about maybe love or a love opportunity or this could be competition of some kind or feeling very conflicted or there's just a lot of, could be just a lot going on in August where there's a lot of conflict and competition s surrounding you in August. And it could be about anything. So in September, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is laying the foundation, planting the seed for something new. This could be a new job. It could be getting a big raise. This could be a settlement coming in. Uh, a promotion, um, a big time purchase coming in September, or laying this foundation and planting the seed for something new, stable, and grounded for the long term. You know, maybe making a little more money. And it could be related to something from the past returning or you returning to and making it happen here with the magician energy to plant that seed for this uh, long term prosperous new beginning. So for October, we do have the Five of Pentacles. So you may invest in something here, maybe invest a lot because we do have a big pentacle here and then we have five little pentacles. So, you know, as you start on, on this journey, something new, you may actually lose a little more at first. You know, it may be a little tough go at first where you may be fi lacking financially just a little bit. Um, you know, because usually it's about abandonment, let down the coal, neglect kind of energy, usually having to do with finances. Some of you, if you physically are moving, you know, that may be a big expense also. So this could just be a big expense or something happening with your finances in the month of October. But then in November, we have the Ten of Cups. So you do have total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. So maybe some of you will be moving towards the end of the month. And, you know, it may be a big purchase. It may hurt you a little bit financially, but you'll be so much more happier if it's not that. Um, you know, you could just be making a decision about something being very clear-minded, which brings you a lot of happiness and joy here in the month of October. I mean, November. And then in December, we have the Ace of Cups. So we have, again, a brand new beginning here. So it's like the Ten is coming out before the Ace. Usually you would get the Ace before the Ten. But um, I feel like, you know, you're just feeling, you know, this could be a brand new beginning in love or just a brand new journey, spiritual journey, self-love. You know, maybe you're so happy, you could be so happy and content um, by November, you know, and then you have that new sense of I'm ready for new, I'm ready to trust again in new things. You know, I've looked at the bigger picture of everything that's going on for me, I've you know, dealt with it, I've done my healing worth, I put an end to things no longer serving me, or ways of thinking, believing, or feeling, and transformed into like the Empress, you know, King of Pentacle energy. And I'm ready to plant new seeds. Yeah, I may have a little bit of a setback, but I'll get there ultimately, have my total happiness and joy, and a whole um, self-renewal here, in your emotions, your feelings, love, trust, but I feel like you'd be doing a lot of um, energy work in the coming year. And I feel it's more on yourself. Heart, mind, body, and soul. Like renewal and energy work. Again, maybe some may be moving. Um, just ending things no longer serving and starting new cycles here. Which will lead to Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. 
but you'll have a little bit of setback, especially with the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, but I don't think it's anything major. I think uh, ultimately you'll be um, fine, Leo. Okay, Leo, so I do see success and victory can be yours, but you'll have to do the work here, that is for sure. So, Leo, we're going to go in the extended reading now. If this did resonate for you, if you're interested in the extended, links are below to Vimeo or Patreon. Um, explanation of those are down below also. In the extended, um, I'll pull you the Rider Weight Tower here. One card on top of each of these to further clarify all the energies for each month. And then I do have the Power of Surrender. Let's see, Surrender, the drama. Uh, Power of Surrender cards here. I'll pull you about three of these in the extended reading to see what maybe you need to uh, surrender, what kind of energies you need to maybe let go of uh, in the coming year. So if you're interested in the extended Leo, again, links are below. If this did resonate for you or you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Check the description box below, pin top comment. Lots of info down there and also the types of readings I do, what I do on the channel. I will be discontinuing the general readings, the money career readings, and replacing those with a weekly pick-a-card reading, all kind of topics, love, non-love. And then I'll be doing some monthly uh, various Twin Flame readings. So if you're interested in those other types of readings on top of the three Zodiac readings I already do, again, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you, and welcome to the family. It would really, really help the channel out. I would appreciate that deeply. So if you're interested in the extended, I shall see you there, Leo. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And happy new year, and best of luck for the new year. And always, always shine your light.